Thursday night in the City League. Rodgers could snatch a share of the title with a win over start. And this is exactly the type of start they wanted. Rams strike first with a one-yard touchdown run by Javon Hudspeth. Two-point conversion, no good, so it's 6-0 Rodgers. And it would stay that way until midway through the third. Corey Robinson rolling to his left on the run. It's T.J. Davidson for the 38-yard score. Spartans trying to add some breathing room. Martin Tucker, direct snap into the end zone with some flair. It's 14-6 start. Now Rodgers would drive the length of the field. They have a chance to tie with under five to play. Hudspeth's path pass is picked by Jaleel Burnside, his second pick of the night. Seals the start victory, their second straight City League championship as they take it 14-6. It feels great just knowing it's my last year and I felt like I did everything I could to take it and bring it back to start for one last time because there's no redo after this. So, yeah, it, it feels great. Oh, I want to be the first ever uh, City League team to win a state playoff game. I know freshman year we went down to Reynoldsburg, didn't work out the way we wanted to, so I, I want redemption for that one. You know, I say this everywhere. You know, when you share a championship, it's more than just the trophy. You're sharing a bond um, and is a representation of the journey and a celebration of that journey. And uh, I really wanted them to know that when you share a championship, you are sharing something that changes your body forever. It's a DNA change, and it stays with you forever, and that's something that we're going to be able to keep forever. I know these players are excited to play an extra week of football, and we're going to have the best practice we can to maintain that game. And there's a pretty special bond between Tim Flagg and Mike Robinson. They break it down for us. The start Spartan offense came into this Week 10 matchup rolling in City League play, scoring an average of 34.5 points per game, but they were shut out in this first half against Rodgers, and they really struggled to move the football in that first half without their leader, Corey Robinson. Yeah, and you heard Coach Godfrey Lewis talk about the disciplinary and things that they want to hold this team accountable. We saw the same thing with the Rodgers Rams. They held their guys accountable too, but the Star Spartans, they sputtered a little bit offensively, trying to get a quarterback to just get the simple exchanges, and once they figured it out, they were good to go in the second half. This has been a defense that is feasted on their opportunities for Coach Godfrey Lewis. Four turnovers, two interceptions by Jaleel Burnside tonight. Jaleel Burnside and Champ Zabrowski, those guys did an excellent job on the defensive half, really keeping this game in check as the Rodgers Rams were marching down the field quite a bit. But those two guys, Burnside had the opportunity to get four interceptions. He came up with two, and the last one was the most important one. That was the seal of the game. The start has been so dominant in the City League. Now they've won six out of the last seven City League championships. What do you take away from this team in the 2021 season? You know, the heart and the grit and to be able to fight back and show the adversity to come back from a second half to flick, to come back and win the game. Rodgers still have to sit at home and wait to see if they make the playoffs for the first time since 2009. For start, well, they're locked in the playoffs. They will enjoy another City League championship as they pick it off here tonight.